Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In this short video I want to show you uh, how to filter and exclude S3 files while reading as a glue dynamic data frame. So the use case is very simple and straightforward. Let's say you have a root directory and in that root directory you have files for customers and orders. Customer some you know customer one file, customer two file, customer three file, order one file, order two file, order three file. So you have all the files dumped in the root directory but you only want to read files for customer right you want to read files that starts or begins with the word customer so how to do that in glue i want to show you a small hands-on video so let's make it quick and short all right so back to my screen so first what i'll do is i have a script which will generate some fake data as usual uh, again this script will be given to you in case if you want to generate some fake data so give me one sec i just need to find that script over here all right i just found the script uh, over here right this python script over here will generate some fake data and it will dump those data files into s3 so just allow me to run this very quickly uh, so i think it's uh, now running this will generate some bunch of you know uh, random data points so now if i refresh i see a folder called sample raw observe i have files for customer.json I also have order.json but when I'm reading now in, in, in glue how do I only read files for customers or order right so let me show you that now um, over here so now here is the code over here I provide the path where I want to read the data now I'm gonna create a glue data frame so glue context dot create dynamic frame from option I am reading the data from s3 so I provide the connection type as s3 path I provide the path where my data is recursive to true and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say exclusion sample underscore raw slash order underscore star what this means it says hey go and read all the files but do not read files that starts with the word order underscore so basically it's gonna read all the data for customers and you can simply run uh, uh this let me hold on let me just remove this i wanna just show you the spark data frame so i will do spark df dot show and again i should see the data frame over here and sure enough it uh, did treat the data for customer similarly if you are trying to read data for let's say um, orders you will exclude the customer uh, pattern over here so that's all i have simple video you know shows you how to filter files when reading from uh, you know h3 hope you have enjoyed if you have any further question let's down your question in the comment and i'll see you in the next video goodbye